Hello everyone, I'm Isan. Today we'll explore 5 useful shortcuts on Samsung smartphones that you might not have activated yet. Okay, let's dive in and see what these shortcuts are and how to enable them on your Samsung smartphone. The first shortcut of phone enable on Samsung phones is the quick volume control directly from the display. This can eliminate the need to press the physical volume buttons on the side. Maybe this feature may seem minor since you can adjust the volume with the physical buttons. However, when we activate the shortcut, it can be very useful in everyday usage, especially when your hand is not near the volume buttons or when holding the phone in landscape mode. By activating the shortcut, you don't have to reposition your hand just to adjust the volume button when holding your phone in landscape mode. To enable the shortcut, you can download One Hand Operation Plus application from the Galaxy Store. Then activate the app and configure the left handle and right handle settings. For the short swipe setting, set all options to back key. And for the long swipe setting, you can set diagonal up to volume up and diagonal down to volume down. For the strict setting, you can select none. Make sure to apply these settings to both the left handle and right handle, so that the shortcut is accessible from either side of the screen. With this setup, you can quickly adjust the volume from any part of the screen. You can swipe down and hold on the left or right edge of the screen to lower the volume on your smartphone. And you can also swipe up and hold to increase the volume. When you trigger the shortcut on your smartphone, a volume control button will appear, allowing you to continue adjusting the volume after triggering the shortcut. The second useful shortcut is for skipping to the next song without turning on the screen. This feature is especially handy when listening to music before bed and the phone screen is off. You can skip to the next song without having to wake the screen, allowing you to fall asleep faster without being disturbed by notifications. To enable this feature, you need to install the Sound Assistant application from the Galaxy Store. Then open the app and activate the feature called Control Music with Volume Keys. In this option, you can choose to change songs using the volume up or down buttons. You can also go back to the previous track using this shortcut. The default settings are up for the previous song and down for the next song. So when your phone screen is off, you can easily skip to the next song by pressing and holding the volume down buttons. Or you can also go back to the previous song by pressing and holding the volume up button. Next, there's also another useful shortcut for quickly accessing specific settings on your Samsung smartphones. With this feature, you can directly add shortcuts from the settings menus to your home screen. This allows you to change phone settings more quickly using these shortcuts. To add the settings shortcuts, you can download the Google Lock application from the Galaxy Store. Then inside the application, you can download a G-Star module. If the Google Lock application isn't showing in your Galaxy Store search results, you can check the video link in the top right corner of this video for an alternative way to install Google Lock on your Samsung smartphones. After downloading the register module, you can open the application and go to search options, and then enable the log creation of a shortcut feature. Once this feature is enabled on your smartphone, then you can go to your phone settings and search for the setting you want to add as a shortcut to your home screen. Then when the setting appears in the search results, you can press and hold. Then select app to add the shortcut to your home screen. And then now you can quickly and easily access various settings on your phone directly from the home screen. Next, there is also a quite useful shortcut for quick screenshots. The shortcut can be activated by tapping twice on the back of your smartphone. Or you can also trigger this shortcut by tapping three times on the back of your smartphone. The back tap twice shortcut is typically used for quick screenshot. While the three tap shortcut can be used to open apps in pop-up mode. To activate the back tap feature, you can also enable it through the Google Lock application from the register module that we have downloaded earlier. Inside the register module, you can navigate to the back tap action option. Here you can enable the double tap and triple tap features. For double tap, you can choose take screenshot option. And for triple tap, you can select start pop-up window. After enabling this feature, you can now tap twice on the back of your phone to take a screenshot. And you can also tap three times to open an app in pop-up mode. When trying out the pop-up window feature, there is also an improvement in the latest One UI 6.1 version when opening apps in pop-up mode. When opening several apps in pop-up mode and minimizing them into shortcuts icon, you'll find a new shortcut feature that allows you to reopen all apps in pop-up mode with just one tap only. 
Previously, you had to reopen each app individually from these icons. And now you can simply tap the shortcut in the floating icon view to easily reopen all apps in pop-up mode. Additionally, in the latest version, when you put the pop-up window view to the edge of the screen, it now will minimize and looks neater compared to the previous version. The next feature is the shortcut that you can use by pressing and holding the power button. This shortcut allows you to quickly and easily activate the flashlight without unlocking your smartphone. You can simply press and hold on the power button to turn on the flashlight. This feature will be very useful especially when you need a flashlight very quickly in a dark environment. This shortcut can also be activated directly from the Google Lock application within the register module. Inside the register module, you can enable the side key press and hold action to set the function of the power button when pressed and hold. In this option, you can choose the option turn on or off flashlight. And then after activating the shortcut, you can quickly and easily turn on the flashlight on your smartphone by only press and hold your power button. And then you can also check out more useful features on Samsung smartphone by tapping on the video displayed on your screen. Hope you find this video helpful. See you in the next one.